We are a theater company that has become a multi-artistic discipline company or a multi-platform company, meaning that we've now expanded to producing film. And we are a company that produces art that raises awareness and funds for critical issues. So in our development and in our ninth year, we came across a very enthusiastic supporter named Victor Gallo, who wanted to join our company and really wanted to steerhead a film. We're working with a great crew of people. Obviously our director, Robin Dionch, and our writer, David Levine, uh, an excellent cinematographer, an excellent production designer, people who are doing our film because they believe, first of all, in the script, in the subtext of the script, and also uh, the fact that we do have an internship program for inner city teenagers, and part of the impetus for that is training the next generation of filmmakers, but bringing in voices that are not usually heard, and that attracted some of the folks that are in the, in the crew. So our first big get was Ellie Walwork. Ellie is a very, very bright young actress from England who was most recently seen on Doctor Who, who is also blind like our lead character. Uh, and then for our antagonist, uh, the character of Yvonne, we have Sarita Shudri, uh, who has been in a gazillion films. Uh, most recently, if you're a fan of Homeland, uh, she's been in Homeland for most of the seasons. So Lily is um, somebody who comes from 2040 and she's blind and she's also really, really independent um, and she's quite self-sufficient but also like anybody coming from that society she just wants to get out and she wants to go to Upper Paradise which is kind of like more of an ordained plane of existence it seems um, and so every single storm, every single superstorm, which is like a massive hurricane um, she enters this thing called um, the Golden Passage, which gives everybody a ticket and then a lottery is drawn. And then um, she gets to go or doesn't get to go, in the majority of cases, up to Upper Paradise. We wanted to make climate change the setting more than the story. Tell a story about a world that takes place a little bit in the future, um, in a city uh, that is feeling the effects of climate change and it has really changed the way of life for people. Here Comes Frida really looks at survival mode and survival mechanism, the human interaction of survival, which honestly in the United States, we don't really have to face that. I know other parts of the world do, but we don't usually address this or we haven't been confronted with it in a way that we will be confronted with it in what is a very near future scenario.